My name is Brittany and I'm a new realtor here in Texas. My ultimate goal over these next couple of videos is to actually help. I want to make sure that I help you as a new realtor how to list your first home, how to help your seller get that home sold. So most importantly, how to do all of your pre-work, how to get through it, and how to wrap up that deal, repeat the process and make another sale. So here we go. If I were you, I would make sure that you have the proper access that you need for your MLS system wherever you're located. So speaking for myself, I am in Houston, so I am registered with HAR. They are my primary, and I also have only MLS access in San Antonio. So make sure you have the access, create your logins, pay your dues, most importantly, and get a feel for the system because that's what you're going to be using to list your home. Super key access. Depending on how you list your home, if you're going to use a super key or if you are going to use a standard traditional key box, it's up to you. That's something we'll discuss later on. But I do like the super keys. It is a there is a monthly fee, but Again, make sure that you have that access if you decide to go that route beforehand. Next thing is, is to make sure that you have access to the texasrealestate.com website. So let me show you here. Do here, you can go ahead and get all of your forms here. There is a library of forms that you will be able to pull. And this is where you would print your forms or you can either digitally send your forms through DocuSign. So let me show you very briefly. So again, you can see here, this is where all of your transactions will be listed. Um, you can actually play here in the system to create your templates. So you can create a new template for a new purchase if you are helping your buyers find a new home. And you can also create a template for your new listing to help your seller sell their home. There are standard forms that each party will need depending on whether it's on the buying or, or the listing side. So instead of you always having to go to forms, first, you can decide whether you want to stay within your association or if you'd like to check for Texas Real Estate Commission forms, which is TREC. And right here you find the standard one to four family residential uh, contract. Do your pre-work, make sure that you have access to it because there are going to be forms that you're going to need on the buying side as well. Go ahead and register for DocuSign. Now there is a monthly fee for DocuSign. Depending on the capacity, it'll be worth it. So. You know, this is an investment. It is a price to be a realtor, whether it's your fees for the MLS access, your membership dues for your association, but here's another fee for DocuSign. You don't have to use DocuSign, but this is personally what I use. There are different platforms in order to electronically sign documents, but this is your time to do your research if you don't care to use DocuSign, but that's what I use. Your offer instructions form. So within the MLS system, the buyer agent will download and it will make that process go very smooth if they pay attention to directions. So they will know where to email their offer to, right? They'd also know to include a signed seller's disclosure. We want to know immediately um, what's the health of that home to the owner's knowledge. Um, also, we'd like to confirm, especially during this climate, we want to tell them, hey, send us a pre-approval or pre-qualification letter. And then last, if it's a, a cash offer, we are telling them, hey, you must send your proof of funds. So this is all of the pre-work and then also your contact information so they can get a hold of you. So your marketing materials, again, this is all pre-work, right? Uh, let's start with your yard for sale sign. One of my very first ones. And then you'd also get the stake in the yard. Some agents who have found that their signs come up missing. So this is a pretty uh, cheap, cheaper route. Now, sometimes I like to do things a little grand. What I had up earlier, this is considered a stake, but this here is considered a, a post, as you can see here. So it's a little pricey, but 
I think it's classy, but it all depends on is it worth it? Is, is that within your budget? Depends on the home as well. Also make sure that you get a sold sign, right? Because even though you have your for sale sign, when your home is off the market and it's out of your option period, or you want to put it under contract, if that's within budget, it'll be helpful. We know that the home is going to get sold, right? So we're, we're going to speak with confidence. Make sure you get prepared with your soul sign. Now, I purchased this here on Etsy, and it takes a little time. So what you don't want to do, you don't want to be within the crunch time. You find out that the home is going to close within two weeks. And you don't want to place your order here and then determine that, hey, you know, I need it to be rushed because that'll be more money. So again, these are some fees, these are investments, and these are some of the things that you want to do ahead of time so you won't have to end up paying for anything to be rushed. Right. And this is a, a super key box. We may or may not like these. I think these are really cute. Or if you're just wearing it for your marketing materials, I think this is actually classy, but it is not a must your business account i don't know how you will do your taxes but i think this is also a good time to create an llc you can differentiate your business as a realtor from your own personal open up an llc in texas it'll roughly be around 300 dollars. you could do it yourself online and also open you up yourself up a business account again so you can differentiate all of your incoming funds and money that you make and that also will be useful um, for tax write-off purposes prayerfully you have a cpa that can assist you with that but those are the things that I will consider all of your pre-work that you need to do so you can get accustomed with the flow of everything that you have, the access that you have, and you can move forward and be prepared. All right, I hope that was helpful and let's move on to the next video.